sewing section of this uh, shirt. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll first of all sew my darts. Okay, this is the back flap. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and sew the flap, the back, the back crotch. Front flap, Okay guys, so for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using this zipper. This is not the normal uh, zipper for the shirt, but later on I'll go ahead and cut it, okay? So the next thing we'll do here, so this is how to fix the zip. So from here, I'm going to place it like this. I'll open it, okay? So I'll just place it like this. inside okay so I will sew I will sew on it I hope you guys understood so after placing the zip inside you can see so you can see my zip is in you pick one edge like this then you are going to fold it just like I did okay you, you fold it in I went ahead to pin it so this is the the edge so you are going to fold it and place your zipper in inward okay after placing it you are going to sew all right so after this is what i did you can see after sewing this one you pick from the flap you pick after that you can see you can from here you cannot see the zip so the next thing is you open up the zip like i've opened it up so 
you are going to place it like this. So this is the the waist. You can see the tip here. This is where you can go ahead and iron it. You can even go ahead and gum it. Use a gum stay on it so that it will be firm. All right. So this is it. So you are going to sew. Okay, so after sewing on it, all right, so I'm going to sew. This is how it looks like. So, like I said, you can go ahead and put a gum stay to make it hard. Okay, so after we'll be cutting out the zipper because it's too long, right? So, you place it like this. So from here, you are going to measure out from here one inch like this. So I'm going to show you one inch. All right, it shouldn't be more than one inch. Okay, so now the next thing is for us to sew the pockets. So this is the pocket I've cut out. All right, so you, you check the right face. So this is the right face of my pants. All right, so the right face, facing right face. So I'm going to place it like this. So you you know here we raise here up by half an inch. So we are going to make sure that this place is up, it's matching here, all right? So remember, we marked seven inch here. You can decide to cut it out like this, the way it is now, you go ahead and cut it out, okay? But I'll be sewing, so after which I'll go ahead and cut it out. So this is from the two from the two inches, okay. Okay, guys. So, like I said, you can go ahead and cut it out. You can as well iron your gum stay to make it firm, okay. All right. So, after sewing, we are going to. You can cut it out and leave your allowance for sewing, or you can finish sewing before you cut it out. So now, right? I'm top stitching it. So after top stitching it, so I'll go ahead and you can see. So you can decide to leave it like this, or you can still give it that line. Just, that one is just for design, right? So like this now. So just give it a line. Alright, 
so after that the next thing is to sew like this so for you to know where you are going to sew like you place it this way all right you can see the pocket is ready so but you have to cover up this part so you don't want to sew here there are people who also sew here at the end of the day they will do a uh, knitting they will go and weave it or like this you can decide to instead of sewing here then you flip it to the other side you sew on the right face so after that you turn it inside out going to top stitch so the pocket is done so this is it so this is what you have for the pocket so the next thing is for you to cover here up I'm going to cover this part you can see remember we marked that two inches go ahead and cross check so you measure at your two inches so you're going to leave it at the two inches okay then here you stitch here Right, guys so now our pocket is ready one side so i'll go ahead and do the same thing you can see i'll go ahead and do the same thing on this other side all right okay guys so now i'm done with the both sides of the pocket you can see i'm done with that so the next thing is to join the back and front together all right i'm going to be joining them We are going to join the both sides, right? We're going to be joining our both sides like this. You can see. So we are closing up the sides. Now I'm folding the damp part, the hem, I'm, I'm folding it, okay? So, after joining, I'll go ahead, I'm folding the damp part. Okay guys, so I'm done sewing the damp part, okay? So now, the next thing now is to is to join the band i'm going to join in two inches band so at this junction i have to open up this zip so when i open it up i have to cut it out you can see this extension i will cut it out right so for us to be able to sew our band so i'm going to be cutting it So this is what you have. You have to open up your zip because this zip is very long. All right. So now this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and measure my waist. So 
I'll know how many inches of band I'll be cutting. So I'll start from here. So you can go ahead and for the sake of this tutorial, like normally you go ahead and finish up, use your knitting machine or weave it to weave this edge all right but for the sake of this tutorial or you can fold it you can fold it in before all right but i won't be doing that so from here this is how i'll be attaching my belt so i'll go ahead and measure it so from here i'll measure all around Up to this point, you can see I have thirty two point two. I have thirty two point two. That is what I have here. All right, so I'll go ahead and cut it out. It's still okay. Two point two. My waist is thirty two inches, so I have thirty two point two. Okay, guys, so now I'm done with the zip, I'm done with everything. In fact, hmm. You can see I've changed my zipper. <laughs> so that is why it is important for you to use the normal tra uh, trouser zip or skirt zip, the short, short ones, okay? Because I use the long ones. So my intention was I've cut the long part. So after which, after joining the my band, you understand? So I open it up and I forgot. And I zip everything and the whole thing goes spoiled. So I had to change my zipper. This time I had, I've used the correct um, color of the <laughs> of the fabric for the zipper. Okay, maybe that was my punishment for not using the actual color the first time. So now, it was not easy. I almost cried. I felt like crying. Like seriously. After finishing, I have to start all over to change the zipper. So now I'm done with the zipper. Okay, this is my band. I've cut out my two inches band. So this one, I left half an inch for joining, okay? So here, at first, I don't want to add the belt holder. You understand? I didn't want to add belt holder. I just wanted only the band. But for the sake of this tutorial, okay, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to attach your belt for uh, holder. Sorry. Okay, so I have about three, three inches. So here, I have three inches, okay? It's about three, three, all of them, they are three inches. I have about five pieces here. So these are five, all right? So I'll be using it for my, for my belt holder, okay? So guys, for us to attach the belt holder now, so what we are going to do, like I said, I have about five of them. So I'll be attaching uh, on the darts, the two darts, the two darts, the front darts, okay? So I'll be attaching on the two front darts. So after that, then at the back, the center back, the crotch line, the back crotch line, um, yes. So now, after that again, from this here, maybe one and a half inch away from the shaping line at the back, I only have two belt holder in front, okay? So now, I'll just go ahead and stitch them. I'll be stitching them, all right, because I'll be joining, because of the way I want to join my belt or my band. So that is why I'm going to be stitching them first here. So I'll just stitch one at the dart, then the second one at the other dart, the, the second dart, okay. So now I'm going backwards. You can see I'm going backwards. So at the back now, after the shaping allowance, I'll just measure out. I'll just mark out one and a half inch away. One and a half inches away. One and a half inches or two inches away from the from the shape. Okay, you just attach it. 
So this is the center, the back crotch. So I'll fix one here at the back crotch. The back crotch line. So the last one now, here, one and a half or two inches away from the, the shape pin, the side seam. Alright, so I'm done attaching the belt holder. So the next thing I'll do, from here, I'll start from the front, okay, I'll be showing from the wrong side of the here is the wrong side, so I'll go ahead. I'll start from the wrong side, so you can see the inside is the wrong side. So I'm going to place it like this. Here. So I'll just place it like this, then I'll sew. I'll sew it all round, okay? Okay guys, so now I'm done sewing it, you can see here, I started from the wrong side, so I'm done sewing it. So the next thing is to sew it like this. So now, I'll just go ahead and this is the right side, okay? So this is my belt holder. I'll just place it like this. Okay, so I'm done with the band, right? So this is what you have. So so the next thing now is to, I'll just go ahead and fold like this. So you can see, this is the belt fold. I'll just fold it in and stitch it. So I'll just stitch it. This is how I'll do to all of them. Don't make it like too flat. Give it a little bit of space. All right, so I'll just fold it in like this. little bit of space like this so i'll just stitch so i'll do the same thing to all of the belt holders all right okay guys so now i am done with the sewing of these shorts so this is the final look of this our shorts all right so this is the final so the only thing left now is to join is for me to fix my hook Right, so I'll just go ahead and fix the hook here. So that is just the only thing left, so that this pant will be complete. You can see our belt holders here. So this is the back, right? It's complete. If you don't want the belt holder, you can go ahead and sew only your band. Okay, you can just attach only your band. So. I hope guys that I'll be able to cover how to sew how to sew a trouser or a pants. Okay, you can use this method to sew your trouser, your three quarters, your short. It's the same thing. The only difference is the length. Okay, so I think I've been able to cover it all. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining. I will go ahead and wear it on our dummy. So I will see the final look, all right? So stay tuned. So let me go away to our dummy, the mannequin, so that you will see how it looks like, all right? Okay, guys, so this is the final look of our shorts. Wow. 
you can see this is the final look isn't it beautiful so i paired it with a, a braret top yes i will leave a link on my description box on how i made this braret top so this is the shot for it isn't it beautiful it is okay guys so this is the outcome the finished look please guys if you find this tutorial helpful please kindly subscribe and hit notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos and please give this video a thumbs up comment let me know your opinion in the comment section okay you can as well share this video so that others will get to see it thank you so much guys for watching bye